Welcome to the topic where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our regions of the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. Medical assistants are growing in numbers and forecasted to be one of the fastest growing health careers out there. Join us today as a student in the program, Evelyn Pena. Thanks for being here in the topic. Thank you for having me. Now tell me, why did you choose to go into the medical assistant program? I think um, I've always pretty much had a calling towards the medical field. Uh, my father, who was a four-time cancer survivor, mm -hmm. um, always going to his doctor appointments with him. I was always right there by his side, seeing his nurses help him, and I kind of always had interest in it. So that kind of started all of that for me. Now, the name is very self-explanatory, medical assistant, but it's also, it means a lot. Tell me exactly what the job and what the duties entail. It's a lot of multitasking, sure. um, from being in the office to helping the patients. We set up the appointments, we do the billing. Um, from the clinical aspect of it, we do injections, we mm -hmm. do phlebotomy work, EKGs, uh, just the overall checkup before the doctor actually comes into the room. If, uh, if someone was looking to go into this program, what are some of the selling points you would give them? What would you say, uh, this is the reason why you should do this? Um, overall, it's just the overwhelming feeling of uh, mm -hmm. just to help somebody and then to be that educated and just that good at doing what you're doing. Um, especially if in the medical field, like me personally, I, I love children. Mm -hmm. I want to later work with pediatrics and I feel like me having my son, it, it kind of benefits that situation right there. Right. It gives me more knowledge and more of a... I guess a good feeling about myself that I'm able to help others make them feel better and stuff like that. Are your plans to stay? I know you're going to Coleman in the medical center. Are your plans to stay in the medical center? Do you hope to do that? Or are you looking yes. at maybe other sides of town? I would definitely want to stay in the medical center. Um, it's not that far from where I live. Okay. And there's just so many jobs right there. Sure. So it's yeah, just the perfect the location. Yes. And Coleman College just recently opened a brand new facility, a state of the art complex. And uh, is that where you're studying right yes. now? Um, Tell me a bit about that. It's right across the street from it. We have a bridge on the second floor that leads over to it. Right. Um, we just recently had a ceremony in there for our medical assistants. Um, it, it's, it's awesome. Uh, we have our own computer lab in there now. Mm -hmm. um, everything just looks, it's brand new. It's, right. it's very nice. And you've got, uh, I mean, from what I understand, operating rooms, you've got rooms, uh, hospital type rooms. It's, yes. it's like a real, it's a real hospital pretty yes, much, right? Yes, we ha have these mannequins in there and they, it's, it's everything. We're able to do catheterizations on right. them. They make noises, they make grunts, <laughs> wow. they make everything. And how is that in the training when you're, when you're dealing with that? Is it, is it, um, uh, is it re um, more than rewarding, but is it very challenging when you're trying to deal with a mannequin as opposed to a real person? It is challenging, but I feel like it gives a better understanding on everything. Um, at HCC, we do a lot of hands-on stuff. Right. It, it's, we we're able to do live sticks on our classmates to where we're able to know the exact location for the intramuscular side and the mm -hmm. subcutaneous. We take blood from one another. We do actual EKGs on one another where we will room our classmates into mm -hmm. one of the patient rooms and have them undress from their top and go and like place the leads on them. So right. it's a better understanding. So when we do go to our clinical sites or our jobs, we have a better knowledge on it. And how long is the program? It's a year. It's a one-year program? Yes, okay. it's a one-year program. So are you, how far are you along in it? And are you looking to do anything afterwards or just go directly into the job placement? Um, directly into the job. I have one more semester. Okay. Summer is going to be my last semester. And I actually already have an interview for Baylor College of Medicine. Wow. Yes, for my clinical That's site. That's great. Yes, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations to you, and, you. and getting through the program and good luck in that job. Hopefully Thank you, you so much. It. Evelyn Pena, thanks for joining us here on the topic. And if you'd like to learn more about the ever-growing medical assistant program here at HCC, you can log on to hccs.edu slash medical assistant. For the topic on HCC TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.